previously on the Dark Pictures Anthology. What the fuck is going on with this ship? Because I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some like, like evil, like literal evil, evil! going on here. Evil! Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and- that, <laughs> That's how zombies sound work, yeah. that crazy right about now. Alex wasn't the only Alex. Two Alexes. About? There were no one things come. walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. Okay, so he you was fighting right? himself. No, I know, it's just... This can't all be happening. Maybe, like, one thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. There's gotta be something going on here. What can we absolutely be sure about? Another what do we know that's scare. real? Did you see the gold? Anything? The real gold was the friend we made no along the way. Would have seen it by now. What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? You can smell death everywhere. It's like a tomb. So where did all the corpses come from? The corpse store? Apparently getting scared to death is an actual thing. Because I'm pretty sure that's what happened to these guys. This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. Hey, that's and me! I don't like it. Oh. It's like this place is stuck in a perpetual bad feeling machine. <laughs> Am I crazy or are we on a ghost ship? Like, ghost ships are real and this is one and we're totally on it and oh, holy shit, we're so <laughs> totally fucked. I guess that's one way to look at it. I read a letter. I, I found it before. It said the guards here were scared of ghosts. We found that's a, a note that said fear. a bunch of guys tried to get out of guard duty because they were really freaked out by something. We know more than we did before. That's something, at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor. This is just like Event Horizon. It needs it to run. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it... That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. Or you could use that big gun. Both big guns, I guess. I feel like I'm gonna have to play through this game again to get all the trophy stuff. We gotta get off this damn ship. No shit. I think you're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. I don't think that's a clinical terms. Is that a... Well, it's a bullet. thought it was a stogie. I know it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. All right, what's gonna scare me next? Something's gonna be in the lifeboat. Great. Could have used these if they weren't Swiss cheesed. Oh no, even the lifeboats are full of bullets. Gonna just explore every random corner. Oh no, that's just a random camera angle shift, I think. Find a way up? Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. What do we got here, though? Oh, no, no, no. Alright, I'm dumb. Oh, damn. Oh, wait. Gas mask guy. Uh, gas mask instructions. Always ensure your mask is fitted before assisting anyone else with theirs. If you detect gas or hear the gas alarm, do not panic. Remain calm and clearly shout gas, gas, gas. Three times, huh? To warn anyone in the vicinity, hold your breath. 
Attach the gas mask carrier by placing the bag under your left arm. Pull the shoulder sling over your right shoulder and hook it into the bag. Hook the belt around your waist. Remove your helmet. Pull the mask up to your face with both hands. Put your chin inside the mask first, then pull the mask over your face and harness the straps over your head. Remove any potentially trapped gas. Close the outlet valve and breathe out sharply, then push any remaining air out of the mask with your hands. Check for leaks by tightly squeezing the flexible, corrugated hose with your hand and inhaling. The mask should crumple around your face. If the mask does not crumple, there may be a leak. Readjust the mask to ensure it is snug, then repeat the process above until the mask crumples to ensure there are no leaks. Well, that seems suspicious. Instructions unclear. Did a sick drift in a Toyota Shrino light your gas, gas, gas? <laughs> Yeah, instructions unclear. My dick got stuck in a fan. Ah, that looks like it used to be stairs. Hey, a little help over here. There's like a billion like broken things around there. They could probably make a ladder. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. <laughs> Only Island, the newest hick. Mm. Dick in a fan. I'll pull you up. <sighs> now that we pulled everyone up. Wait, can I talk to this nerd? No. Guess we're gonna just go up the stairs then? That works. That's a steep drop. I don't like that. Dracula's still hiding around. <clears throat> Wait, did I just pretty much... Yeah, I did. I just ended up turning around and going the wrong way. Do-do-do-do-do. Over here. Got a way through here. Yeah, kick the door down. <laughs> Drac 2-0. It's my Drac in a box. <sighs> so I feel like I need to explore more random stuff. Because whenever the scene twitches, I'm guessing I miss out on a collectible or two. Alright, we got a log book. I hope it's literally just drawing as a log. Huh. Last log shows him caught in a storm. A swell from the wet. Waves 20 feet, no damage reported. PM weather continues to deteriorate as does forecast. Crew bearing up. AM wind at storm force gaining strength. Weather is exceptional with several lightning strikes hitting OM, but causing no sustained damage. We are leaking some water, but it is under control. Navigator, ports, seas, bed depth, readable.
Operational logs for SS Orang. AMC going down. New and thick fog. PM increasing ahead. Ooh. Fog very thick. Midnight PM dense fog continues. Well, fair enough. Well, it's time to play my favorite game. Let's check out that dead guy. Nope, he's just vibing. But we do have another picture to look at. What's this premonition? Oh, okay. So it's got that radio yet. <laughs> no, but there's got to be a radio on this ship. There, there has to be. I'm not exactly confident about our chances of survival at this point. That's a pretty old timey Nothing's map. What's wrong here? If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Planned route, actual route. Okay, so Junior is gonna kill himself. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what it looks like. He probably probably got too scared by Dracula. Let's try this door. Oh, I guess I guess that's not plot relevant door. Also, I didn't realize there's actually like a co-op mode in this. So I might have to circle back. What do we got for a note? Uh ah, okay. Off course, cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Heavy storm, blown off course, report of hold two flooded, excessive lightning strikes, adrift in shallow waters, location unknown. Seabed depth, believed uncharted, unable to establish depth. Search for crew member overboard commence, search called off, heavy cloud cutter cover, as yet unable to establish location. Is that the radio? Yeah, there's no way that like man should stay yeah, on all these gross. years. Looks like this poor sucker bit it right in the middle of his message. Mayday call broadcast, radio contact intermittent, attempted Morse SOS, many crew dead. Hmm. Sound pretty desperate. I die? <laughs> oh no! That's gonna suck, your last words aren't even grammatically correct. Take a look. No freaking way. This thing actually still Whoa, works. Whoa, bro. Radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years, as long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Ah, it's working. It's a number station. Numbers station? The numbers station. What do they mean? Let's have some for help. Hey! Hey! Is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Over. Holy shit! We got him! Uh. Come on, this is an emergency! Please! We're on this like old freighter. We think the name of it is the Iran Medan. Hello, hello. Is the name of this vessel. Please come in. <clears throat> 
No! Well, there goes our escape. Hey! Come here, look! Yeah, jump down that deep, sketchy hole. This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Oh. <laughs> the ham radio but ran out of pork juice. I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. Appreciate the lurk. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> medium bro? What are, you, what are you talking about? He steps up to the plate. Put yourself right in like, the line. You're not fire. a full bro, you're not a little bro, but you are medium bro. Not if the pitcher's a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. <laughs> I thought so that was going to be a quick time event. Hey, if you're sure you're up for it, I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. Uh, you're not always going to be there to protect big guy. I can handle this. Trust me. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. Dun -dun -dun. Okay, it's you and I. Ah! 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 Well, they obviously couldn't handle it. There goes two of my survivors. Ooh. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, that's definitely tetanus. Any broken bones? Everything still work? Everyone okay? We're okay. What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to find the generator. Oh, now if they're deciding to be quiet the after they probably like alerted everyone to where they're at. By the radio. Here. Ah, yes, Dracula's number two uh, weakness: fire. Hey. After you. <clears throat> oh no, the sick bay. I'm sure this is gonna be just a nice walk through the park to get that generator up and going. Uh, medical officers a serious report. Meeting of minutes of meeting between scientists X, CWO Walter Bishop, and CWO Tom Palmer, with Sergeant Peter Wood observing and X for meeting with our team and says we can mutually learn for our, the same thing. The Western world must be protected from. The United States have been aware of certain agencies investigating the chemical and biological agents in warfare. Our act, limited by the Geneva Convention, have experiments we are unable to. Describes an investigation during to test the effects on human subjects of the molecule crystal structure hallucinogens codenamed Manchurian gold. Wait, that's the gold chemical munitions battle. It was even relatively minor observed to trigger significant hallucinations. Men highly convincing subjects seeing and hearing things that were not there. Even the danger is manifold and in its intensity. It was drugs the whole time. But I still have hope for Dracula. Maybe he'll be in the stinger. So we we, we were discussing that Manchurian gold sounded like some kind of strain of pot, so pretty on, on point there. And that private Charles Anderson on leave from duty did display intoxication in a manner not to be coming out of a member of the U.S. Army. Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument. It is the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl, and steps were taken to ensure that both men were returned to their ship. Ten days in the brig. Wow. Damn. He must have really blown his lid to get that kind of time. I 
I mean, we already... Okay, we already found that thing. Is this the brig? And what's this guy gonna say? Arthur Miller. Petty theft, one day, brig. Small items belonging to senior officer found in Miller's locker. Items recovered and returned to o owner. Wednesday. David Davis. Trespass two days brig found off limits in cargo hold 3A with no reason to be there. Flagrant disregard for orders. Friday. Lewis Brand, public intoxication one day. Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for US personnel while on shore league. We drank the blurhead of some people and those people are on drugs. Now I'm a wizard. I yeah, I think that's probably what happened here. Robert Reed, public intoxication one day, Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. personnel while on shore leave. Saturday, Charles Anderson, public intoxication brawling. Ten days, Brig found drunk and acting inappropriate for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Joseph Roberts, public intoxication, same deal. Ooh, Mr. Krabs. Look at that cake. Look at that. He, he just, he's looking thick. I'd rather just take a break to clap Mr. Krabs and go through the sick I bay. I actually, you know, enjoy this. What the hell are you talking about? Well, uh, in any yeah, what? Do you think this is a haunted this tour? Place the coolest place to explore, like, like ever. I'm going to say no, not at all. Says the girl who couldn't wait to dive a wreck. Shut up. I, he does have a point. Crabs be thick <laughs> AF. I, I, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, let's go into the sick bay. Hmm. I've been the son of somebody on board. Two pops. Come back soon. Well, that's good a guess. I hate when it does that, because I think, like, even if it makes zero sense, a rat's going to bite him. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, he don't look too good. We just keep finding notes and adding to the lore of the story. John Patterson, private from Rowlett, Texas. Date, February 1922. Uh, enlisted in 1941. Total service army, three years, five months. Just been passed out for how many years? That'd be the world's worst bender. History case, diagnosis, mild neurosis. Disability is not the result of his own misconduct and was incurred in the line of duty. Existed prior to enlistment? No. Present condition, fit for service. Probable future duration temporary. Recommendation that he be shot out of a cannon and tossed into the sea. No, that he be closely monitored and referred back for medical checking in one week. Facts are as follows. I saw Private Patterson today who attended sick bay. During that visit, I observed signs of severe distress consistent with the evidence of panic I observed in the same soldier during his watch duty earlier this week. I requested Patterson see me today as I believe his panic to be accompanied by vivid and disturbing memories. In the past, he has managed to continue his duties as symptoms appear to alleviate after his guard shift. He claims these symptoms are very unusual for him. Private Patterson is a fit and healthy young man of 25 years with no known medical conditions and an exemplary military career. He is able to calm down during the course of our meetings and tests for speech re reactions, memory, and decision making all appear normal. Clear case of COSR. All right, what's in this room? Yeah, you know, she got scraped up by the fall, so you think they would have tried to find like ancient band aids or something in there? Um, some century old Tylenol. Yeah, I'm gonna commit to dropping down. Here, come check this out. Look, down there. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be spooky organ. Looks like the engine room. Good place to find the generator, right? <laughs> yeah. 
Ancient old super glue to close up wounds, right? Yeah. The ladder's broken off here. I think I can just. Nope, he's gonna fall. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, all good. Just come down. Tetanus Express. This game needs. Oh, what, what, what the fuck? What's up? That it, 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 it was. Wait, wait, didn't you see it? Um, hello. Hi. Okay, so, I, so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Okay, so follow my thinking here. We know this ship was carrying Manchurian gold, which was actually some kind of dangerous chemical, right? And there's this like weird fog everywhere, all over the place. Maybe that's the Manchurian gold. That's the real friends we made along the way. Maybe all up, like in the head, you know? I mean, I definitely saw some crazy shit that I could have sworn was real, but maybe it wasn't. We know the crew were scared shitless of something. None of it happened. None of it was real. It was just a hallucination. All right, the nerd it's figured it out. All right, that's the, the end of the game. Dived. Okay, so the plane was a search and rescue. It came out here because the people on this ship sent a distress signal. We know that. But I guess at that point, the fog had done its damage, and for whatever reason, they shot the plane down. I mean, who knows what the hell they were thinking, or thought they saw. <laughs> they just oh, saw, like, a big bird coming at them. Alright, let's get the going. The bird's gonna eat the ship! Fire at it, man! Van Linden Engine Works, Rotterdam, Nederland. Diesel engine number 1734, year 1920. Type L87 CSE. Some ancient musket guns? Could be. You know what I miss right now? Hot dogs? Clothes. Oh. Yeah. Engines room telegraph log. Well, it looks like we we're close to the engine room. Two thirds speed ahead, bell acknowledge, engine speed adjusted, stand ahead, bell acknowledge, engine set to standard speed. Lieutenant Young reported to relieve me watch duty. I relayed engine running at standard speed with no special or standing orders from bridge or chief engineer, and no maintenance or hazard issues in engine room. Found Lieutenant Young to be of sober and composed mentis Compos mentis disposition to hand over watch at 2400 hours. Relieved LT Phillips a watch at 0 hundred hours. Inspected engine room for abnormalities. Performed equipment and machinery checks prior to watch. No faults found. Previous log entries examined. Currently standard speed engine. No new bridge orders. Full speed ahead. Bell, bell acknowledged. Full speed ahead. Flank ahead. Flank bell acknowledged. Engine adjusted to max speed. Standing order from chief engineer. Cut engine room power from all essential lighting and machinery. Chief engineer entered engine room for emergency inspection. Look at this. Stop bell acknowledged. Cut engine really power. Anchored. Order received to anchor in shallow water? What the hell? Yeah, in the middle of the Pacific? I'm just like, stop right here, man. Imagine the boat controlling like GTA controls. Big square brake button. I'm just waiting for the next scare, kind of. Like, we're building up to probably a, a decent sized one. Hey, hey, I found it! Oh, thank God! Oh, the lever, Gronk! Yep, this is it, alright. Just throw the switch and let's get back upstairs. Oh, the lever, Gronk! Okay. Let's get back upstairs. There's gotta be another way up. 
We lost power, but we have it back. Can you hear me? Over. Please state your situation. Over. Uh, we need we some need nachos. Now, there are things on the ship that are trying to hurt us. Over. Please state your coordinates. Over. Our location is 12 degrees 30 minutes south, 151 degrees 20 minutes west. Please get here now. We need help. <laughs> some nachos and berries and cream. I don't like to think that the army is gonna just blow everyone to bits. Oh, come on, work, damn it! All right, well I guess we're going this way. Take the old timey elevator. Look at this. The rebreather. The fisherman must have brought it over from the Duke of Milan. You think it still works? Looks like it's got a little juice left. Maybe a couple of minutes. Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. It's just gonna slow us down. Never know. Are you crazy? Half the ship is submerged. It could be a lifesaver. Yeah, beat him with the rebreather. No. Stop me. No. Je t'ai dit de la fermer, sale menteur. Ferme ta gueule de merde. Tu dis n'importe quoi. Tout ce que tu racontes, c'est des conneries. Alors, ferme ta sale gueule de merde. This Pokemon is is good eye. Écoute. Écoute-moi. Non. Fais pas ça. Regarde. Ah oh. Je t'avais dit de fermer ta gueule. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Is he gonna, like, perform surgery on him? He's gonna just beat all the ghosts with a sledgehammer. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Why would he do this? We have to be very careful. He's crazy as a shit house rat. Wait. I think we should try to avoid that. Yeah. Oh, snap, got the ring back. Oh, thank God. Holy shit. And we got the rebreather. Let's go. Why does she got to carry it? It's hammering time. There's no use hiding, you little fuck. Just make ghost noises. What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There You're after me, Lucky Charms. There must be plenty around, more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deal? <laughs> you can't have all the gold. And I'm to be left here to die. But I am the captain. <laughs> I'm the captain. I am in control. 
and I am the one that says who goes and who stays. Ah. He's breathing down our necks. Oh, I have an escape plan. Yeah, he's he's. Yeah, uh, let's let's try and run. Crazy, unpredictable. We better get the hell away from him right freaking now. Run, fucking run. Yeah, there we go. Slam the door in his face. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Poke him in the good eye. There we go, there we go. Are we safe? Please tell me we're safe. Uh, yeah, totally. Hope not. Right, well, I mean, these doors yeah, are probably. meant to withstand all sorts of well, that's stuff. Good. Stuff. <laughs> well, don't just like debate if the door is gonna hold. Run. Okay. Okay. None of you move. None of you go all changing on me now. All changing on me? Turn around. Slow. Real slow. Oh. Okay. All right. Not changing. None of that. No, no changing. Raise your hands up. Put Slow. your hands in the air if you don't care. No, no. Not like that. I said no changing. Please. We've got no problem with you. We just want to get out of here. Please. I'm sorry, but if you're breathing, then you don't got much of a choice in the matter. You don't got to say. Ha ah. ha. Not again! It's all got changing on me! Uh, what? What's changing? Stay away! Silent Hill. Stay back from the Dra mist. Aqua Drac. What? There's Aqua no mist, Dracula's man. coming at him. Oh, Don't wait. That, the curator's back Don't there. Don't the mist. It's inside now. Inside with us. Now. Please, just calm down! Stop! Stop! It's in one of us, isn't it? Put the gun down, now! Why would you say that? Why are you telling me what to do? Yeah, you breathed in the mist! It's happening. I can feel it! Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Okay, all right, look. I, there was, you know, something back there. I... Maybe a mist or fog, maybe? I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? No, look. We held our breath. We did not breathe any of that stuff. <laughs> oh, really? I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? <laughs> what? We've been down here for hours. You've been holding your breath this whole time. You're yes. holding your breath right now. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. We have a rebreather from our boat. What? We've been using it to get the mist out of us. You know, we could use it on you too, okay? No, 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 no. You keep that thing away from me. <laughs> oh, good. It's in me. I got the mist in me, don't I? It's in me, isn't it? Uh, uh. I can feel it swirling around in there. That could be the Taco Bell. It's changing me. On the inside. No, no. I, 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 I can't see it. You're all right, man. There's no mist. Stop. Stop lying. You can all see it in the cancel. This is tense. You're all just lying. The mist is... Inside! Keep me alive! Hey man, come on, just put the- yeah. Oh, fucking shit. Yeah, me too. I was getting nervous from this. Like, maybe you could save him?
Well, I guess that's like two bad guys down. I feel like you could save him. I don't know. Wait by the radio. Why? I'm gonna check the next level. There might be some more gear down there we can use. Uh... I'm not going far. Just wait by the radio. Favorite is, uh, Until Dawn. I played Little Hope, too. Little Hope's gonna be the next one on my list. Then probably House of Ashes. Until Dawn was awesome. <laughs> I think that was the one where I tried to save... No, I tried to save everyone, but, like, I ended up losing two people. What's in the uh, Dread XP? I've got like the 616 collection, um, Puppet Games collection, and a bunch of other ones like Visage, Summer 58, like... I'm, I'm pretty stock full of spoopy games for a while. Once I power through this one, I think my Twitch streams are gonna be like... One night will be a spooky game, one night will be like something weird or fun. I saw the, the, the big guy. He had the distributor cap. <laughs> Spooky Christmas games. There's probably there probably is one. I just want to say one character I killed her on the last choice. Oh no! It was it was like one of those. This must have been what we just heard. It was like uh, whatever one just gets straight up decapitated by the Wendigo. Huh. Oh no! What's that? Does it matter? We need that distributor cap. Here. He had to have come this way. Hello, ref. Just had to stop by and say hello. Can't stay for spooky games. Appreciate you being here, though, Sam. We're replaying this part really quick because I'm trying to save everyone. And I think going forward, Tuesday nights will be spooky games. Thursday nights will be, like, funny or weird games. Holy crap. And then the rest of the Holy week, bitch. I'll be streaming over on TikTok, and that's going to be pretty much whatever I feel like streaming. Hey, you guys! Oh, what do we got here? Sure. Oh, thank you, thank you for the sub. Holy shit! Thank you so much. Oh, I almost failed that quick time too. Hey, you guys! Everyone playing spooky games. I get nightmares. Well, I mean, you know, it's, it's that time of the year. It's not like in November we can all just play like Thanksgiving themed games. Like, that'd be cool. Just like Thanksgiving buffet simulator. Honestly, that looked like he had to let out, like, the world's job, biggest Alex. fart. You play Buffet around. Simulator almost every day? That's why I wear my Zubas, dude. Canadian- oh yeah, Canadian Thanksgiving already passed on. No, do American Thanksgiving, and then it's like double. Once you're done Cyberpunk, you're doing Bayonetta 1 and 2, then Yakuza 0. Hell yeah! I need to circle back to Bayonetta. All right, now I kind of know what I'm doing here. Wait a minute, I forgot about this before. Yo, Sam, thank you for popping in. Of course, it'll restrict your moment around the plant, so it may prove difficult to look for Jones. Primary objective is clear, but your secondary objective when you reach your destination is to locate Jones and his men, get them back home. Must be vigilant and very concerned with personal safety at all times. Your country is behind you. General Henry L. Rasner, the U.S. Army. Top secret. Harold Tom Walter, military intelligence has indicated that Sergeant Jones and five of his platoon have gone missing during a reconnaissance mission at the water purification plant. 
Our men in the field have been unable to make contact, and the situation there is grave. It is not known if they have been captured or if they are alive, only that their last known position was approaching the plant, and then they went silent. The plant has high security. They are expecting you. You bought a Vita just to play the older Persona wow. games? Did you, um, did you buy it, like, in current day? Like, or did you buy it, like, back in the day? It's like the PSP and the PS Vita, Look like, Persona that. games are... Sometimes you just get... They're like an arm and a leg. My Holy Grail is still getting, like, the original Persona for PlayStation. I own every other one. Let's grab... Okay, that's what I needed. Now we're good to go. Now we're good to go. Oh no! Yeah, you blew it, dummy. You got your Vita a week ago? That's... It's, it's like, it's cool, but it's also a bummer. Like, a lot of the really good games are now expensive for it. <laughs> Alright, we got Nutsack Zombie. Gonna not do anything. What? Who, who are you? Twins from DVD. <gasps> Zombie just wants a hog, don't we all? Okay, the Vita store does still work. <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime doll. Spaceballs, anyone? I think the PS3 store still works too. <laughs> like, check, please. Brazzers. Hey, it's okay. Okay, now now we're at the spot I need to be. Oh my God, Fliss. What's up, Craig O'Mac? How are you, bud? The distributor cap. It's out of the picture. Guess it's time for a new plan. Dun dun dun! Doing well? Hell yeah. I finally got all my OBS stuff figured out, so things are rocking. Previously on Dark Pictures. We didn't find Aquatic Dracula. His castle's probably much deeper in the water. What we, we, we did find was the power of friendship. Oh, they hugged it out. It's like, bro, 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 bro. The Duke's not going anywhere without a distributor cap, so neither are we. <laughs> have it, everyone good survived? Yeah, me too. We got a couple Dude. Of Dude. I don't know if we can collect some rainwater. I always kind of knew I would die on a boat. Not That's... this shitty boat. <laughs> Wait, we we forgot about the douchebag. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> He's just like. He's just rolling in with the full crew. I mean, I hope it's the guy that got the, the speedboat from the beginning, and it isn't just a guard coming to annihilate everyone. Hey, 
What's up, man? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Right on, Radical. Radical. Hey, con man. No, What's don't. Up? No, not con man. Not con man and Radical. <laughs> so, what is this thing? Uh, it's a freighter. Uh, abandoned. Uh, originally commissioned during World War II, but repurposed sometime. Okay, hey, hey, thank you, Professor TMI. TMI? I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I was pretty sure that we'd be bringing a few of you back in some body bags. You make getting kidnapped on the high seas look easy. It's a nightmare in the sea. What does mine say, dude? What does mine say? Sweet! <laughs> Dracula just like... I'll get those goddamn kids next time. The fucker that took her boat. I thought there was gold. She wanted the gold. That's all this was about. He's a gold member. Venturian gold. Well, that turned out to be quite a bit different than we expected. You know, I just keep going over it and over it. And it doesn't make any sense. You know? Just... And I know what I saw. I just don't believe in whatever it was that I saw. I saw I'm not Alex. gold. <laughs> it wasn't Alex. It was <coughs> someone else. But they looked just like Alex. And he was sneering at me. Fucking rich kids. <laughs> Amen. So, um, does anybody else feel like knocking back Frosty? This guy. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. When Dracula's gonna be driving the boat, so, be like, you're all fucked. Ah, ah, ah. Cut to, cut to black. Oh, they're like double married now. I thought, was, I thought it was gonna cut to, to Brad and Connor like doing the same thing like on the other side. Should be a big old shark to shark to push chasing them until it goes black. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so the real Manchurian gold was the friends we made along the way. Thank you all and good night, and I'll see you in little hope. Oh, wait, he's actually gonna say something. Congratulations. All your charges are still breathing, and that's something, I suppose. Things became a little intense, but Alex kept his nerve. Well done, Alex. Well done, you. Yeah! It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made when with you're the gonna heart poop instead pants. of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. The curator's an asshat. He's like, uh... He's like every like sadistic dungeon master I've ever had. Like the one who's like he doesn't consider it a good session unless like again. half the party gets wiped Maybe out. Maybe little hope. Maybe somewhere <laughs> else. He said the thing. In little hope. We will meet again. Probably in it's your wet dreams. Inevitable. He said the thing. <laughs> Oh no, that guy! <laughs> he just stumbles in and finds like the real gold. <laughs> oh no, this poor guy. I'm free! <laughs> well, he got like stabbed. You you think that's like. That would put a person down. So out of nowhere, this thing just sent out an SOS. Guess we got a real life ghost ship here, huh? Oh, 
Oh, uh, one of those crates is gonna contain Dracula. I know it. I told you he's gonna be in the stinger. He's gonna pilot that helicopter and go blow up that boat. There's gonna be like a new metal like uh, credits. It's like dude, 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 dude. Dracula will fuck you up if you invade his home. What the fuck? Oh no! Oh, 